Okay, so I'm going full Muslim today, and we're going to learn how to make one of these turn into beautiful like that. Okay, I need the. Um, if you wanna use hijab, so you need one like uh, this. Oh, okay, like like this one right here. Right. And also like this. Okay. So one side is much shorter than the other side. Actually, we have a lot of style in hijab. She thinks they have a good nose. But I guess. So we're on our way to the Muslim center to learn about how to be Muslim. Okay, so I just asked about the 72 virgins and they've never heard of that in their life. So apparently when you die, they believe in heaven or hell. And if one of them goes to heaven and one of them goes to hell, then they get a new partner, which is probably a virgin. But they will be on the same religious level as that person. So all those 72 virgin jokes that you're making about those terrorists, they're incorrect. Okay, so not only that, but the suicide terrorists are actually going to go to hell. Because if you commit suicide, you're going to go to hell. If you attack people without being attacked, you're going to go to hell. So if your country gets attacked and you attack back and you die fighting, then that's okay. You'll go to heaven. But if you suicide bomb attack them, they're gonna go to hell. There's no jihad because there is no people attack us. So you can't attack them. We will be uh, there's will there will be jihad if we if someone attack us. Right, but nobody's attacking. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So you can't not part of ISIS is not part, not of, Muslim. part of the Islam because Islam religion will fight uh, some people only when people attack us. So also in the religion, you are not allowed to attack children or women or an army that is sleeping or not ready. Also, no churches or any religious places because other people still have their right to pray and do whatever they need to do you can't take that away from them which one Hagia Sophia yeah. what happens uh, when uh, Islam army come to Istanbul they do not touch the Hagia Sophia it's the famous church and when we win in the war we we have to let the another religion people who pray in their church you cannot uh, disrupt them and so you are not allowed to uh, to force them to to be to become islam yeah oh. islam not 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 forced you have to choose it by yeah. yourself by yourself people in the quran we, yeah, believe, we believe ibrahim who christian also believe and jews also believe uh, ibrahim and no in english noah musa in English, Moses, we believe all of them and yeah. it's stated in the Quran. Yeah. And so, we have to believe all the prophets who come to Christian uh, religion and also to Jewish religion. In Islam, Muhammad came to complete all the, uh, all the, the, all the prophets who come first. Quran. We can show so, you in English, yeah. yeah we so, can show you Quran in English that Moses uh, Go, uh, yeah, go, to go the away, line. go away from Egypt now, and go to Middle East and climb the mountain. And brings down the Ten Commandments. Yeah, it's in Quran. Oh. It's also in the Bible. In the Bible. Yeah. Okay, so just to recap all that, Jesus is in the Quran, but he's just a prophet, and Muhammad came after all of the other prophets that are in the Bible and just like put it all together that's it be, be. it's actually the same everything the same so i personally am overheating because i'm i'm from canada this is like it's almost 40 degrees and i'm in a very crowded train it has 18 in here and i'm like overheating it's not good Let's talk about this headscarf anyways. We're on a busy train. 
for another half hour. Might as well waste time. So the point of it actually is that your husband is supposed to be the only one who sees it. Okay, so I believe this is where we are. That's really hard to see. But here. Apparently many people are here day and night because it's Ramadan right now. So there's a lot of people sleeping because they pray all night. So apparently there's a lot of females who can eat while they're on Ramadan if they're on their period. But I'm just, you know, a heathen is infidel. In a mosque, in a mosque. But they said it was okay, but I feel like it's not okay. But they said it's okay, so I'm just gonna eat around all these people who are fasting. My bad. <laughs> okay, so lots of people are yeah. staying here because... Because uh, we believe that the last Ramadan, uh, Allah will give a lot of gifts for Muslim. So just to recap that, they live here. They yeah, live here. They live here. For 10 days. For 10 days, right. Correct. And, and they have that? Yeah. They have baked. Anything else? Yeah, they they live here and they can read Quran. They they pray a lot without do anything, without do activity, another activity. They just focus to pray. So there's a divider there, and all the women are on mm -hmm. this side, and all the men are on that side. Where do the babies go? Baby, it can both. Babies on either side until maturity. Yeah, and right now it can both. So and then a maturity is a menstrual cycle, yeah. or for a man, it's the Adam's apple. Yeah. All right. So apparently this is one of the biggest mosques in Asia. How many people can fit in here? How many people can fit in here? I don't know exactly. Maybe uh, more than ten thousand because we 10, have thousand. five floor. See? You said you held up four fingers and then said five. Is it four, four floors, or five floors? Five floors. Five floors. <laughs> five floors. Five floors. <laughs> five. Five. five floors. Okay, five floors. Ah, oh, okay. So people can stay at all of those. Yeah. This is the Quran with no translation. And then can you open it? Okay. What language is this? Arabic. So there's no translations, not even in Indonesian, because it has to be original. But translation. Okay, so we found one translation into Indonesian. So we can't find any English versions, most are in Arabic. We've only found like three or four in Indonesian, but everyone can read the Arabic ones. Oh my god, there's a tumbleweed. <laughs> There's some familiar faces. So I wandered away from my guide for a little minute there. And a guy came up to me and he's like, Hello, where are you from? from? I'm like, Oh, I'm from Canada. He's like, Oh, you Muslim? I'm like, No, I'm learning about it. I'm interested. And he said, Okay, so you outside inside from Muslim like okay thanks for welcoming me in showing me what to do really great so you can see quite clearly that there's no turbans here whatsoever so turbans are something from the Middle East they are not part of Muslim hmm. actually there's no hats there's some people wearing some kind of hats here but that's Indonesian, that's not Muslim. It's very interesting. Like this guy right here, for example. This is not a Muslim hat. This is an Indonesian hat. Funky. So apparently there is no formal uniform. There's no formal. Everybody can be a priest. Everyone can be. What is, the, what is the proper name for priest? Ustad. 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 Alhamdulillah. 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 And that means hallelujah? This is the mosque we were just in. So 
so always, not just during Ramadan, which it currently is, uh, Muslims pray five times a day. So what are these times? Before sunrise, till 2 p.m. and then 4 p.m. Uh, when sun sets, uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. When you pray, what do you pray about? More food, uh, get a lot of money, have a good family, have good education, have... You pray five times in a day, it's to praise the God. If you want to uh, ask for something specific, you can ask any time. Okay, so... It seems like a ritual to praise the God. So it's specifically to be like thankful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thankful. And then if you want something at any time, you, can, you ask. You can do after that. While you are praying, you read the Quran and you're happy, mm -hmm. but a prayer only lasts like five minutes. Yes, about five minutes, and it could be longer. So five times five minutes a day. So you're doing twenty-five minutes a day of prayer. Maybe longer. Maybe longer. Okay. So from start to finish, that was about two minutes. It's pretty quick. Okay, so putting the forehead on the ground like that is, is a rule. You have to do it to represent that humans are nothing. Um, so the direction of the um, praying is towards Makkah in Saudi Arabia and it has the center for everyone to pray towards so everyone goes in that direction or when you uh, pray you have to wash your face and your hands and feet yeah. why um, it's so that how how clean we are how poor you are when you will pass to your God every time uh, every time when when you want to do pray. So, Indonesian food. Oh my god, so much. <laughs>